I'm 40 plus with children in their 20s and I'm just finding a really amount of beautiful time right now that I never ever could have, I couldn't have imagined this, this experience that I'm feeling right now. I just, you know, paint and paint and paint and sketch and draw and paint. <laughs> and just talk to people through, through imagery, which is really fun for me. I can actually do what I love. You know, you hear people say, do you, you know, to be able to get up and, and, and do a job that is not really a job is just really quite amazing. And I'm happy for that. And so for other people out there who have experienced trauma, I know within the moment when you're feeling it, you think like, why me? But I've always said this, and even after what I experienced, I don't regret anything that happens in my life because there's always something to learn when we grow from experiences, you know. I wouldn't be able to do the things that I do. This is another part of the Amja Art Love series. Um, and this piece is called Self Love. Um, while accessing support therapy, uh, group therapy sessions with other women who have been impacted by domestic abuse of its varying forms. Um, the facilitator always used to say, and remember to have self-compassion and self-love. And I'd be like, why didn't this woman just stop chat? I used to, it, used to, it really used to irritate me. It was the constantly, constantly. Now, I advocate safe love, self-love like anything because it is so powerful. I feel um, that many people they're very able to give recommendations and tell people how they should take care of themselves and you should do this, you know, to honour yourself more. But those very same people sometimes don't, you know, honour themselves in that way. And for me, um, self-love is so important. I think through that, actually, you're able to love other people better. Um, and we're kind of conditioned to think it's the other way around, that you're supposed to give your all to your partner and give everything to them till you're almost on depletion and not give yourself anything in return because that's what a good partner is. I so now know that's not the point. That's actually how you get yourself stuck into relationships that are actually quite unhealthy for you because you're giving so much of yourself to somebody that you're not actually teaching them how they should love you in return. Um, and so I feel, you know, self-love is so important to everybody. We need to exercise it in our everyday experience. So this is what this picture represents. It's love of self, um, the heart here and love as well and her lips and just, just, you know, loving your, who you are. And particularly because I'm a black woman and I identify as such loving myself in all of my blackness and everything that represents for me. I think is really important because we're in a time now where sometimes, I mean, more people are being more accepting of their lineage and stuff, but some people don't really love their natural blackness. So there's a reason why she's got beautiful Afro hair. I wanted that to be really represented in my self love piece because, and that's no judgment on anybody who wants to exercise their right to do whatever they want to do with their hair. But some people don't like their hair, they don't like their hair in its natural form. You don't, you can like your hair in its natural form and not wear it natural, but some people don't like their hair in their natural form. So for me, that's what self-love, that's why um, this piece has got Afro hair. And again, she's just hugging herself and loving herself. Her, her, her look on her face is not smiling or unhappy. It's just in love, in awe of her aura, you know, just loving herself in that moment. And that's what this piece represents for me. So this is another part of the love series. And I was, um, it, it wasn't intentional, but each part of the love series doesn't look the same because love is can come in so many different forms and in so many different ways. So yeah, that's what this piece is about. Um, I actually enjoy doing this bit because I, yeah, I actually enjoy doing it. Um, I enjoy doing this piece. Uh, I think she's beautiful. I actually do love her very much. So sometimes it's quite, as an artist, sometimes you can become unhealthily attached to your pieces. <laughs> Uh, and I want, I want to, I, I hope that it will um, be in somebody's home and they'll love her as much as I do.